What is up, Wanderers? We're here for another One Take Bag Review. And this time we've got a tried but true bag to review. This is, if I lined up all the bags I've owned in my entire life and scored out kind of which one have I used on the most adventures, okay? So not the most daily driver bag, but the most like, let's get out there, let's kick around in the dirt, let's go on a road trip. What's my bag that I grab by default when I am out and about hitting the road? It's this, the hatchet from Jansport. I know what you're saying, Jansport, really? Jansport, the, the backpack I had when I was in middle school? The answer is, yeah. So there is something incredibly empowering about just grabbing a bag that if it gets ripped, if it gets destroyed, if it gets all beat up on your adventure, who gives a crap? You'll just buy another one for 40 bucks. This bag is fantastic. I've had two of these. I had one in a really unique kind of uh, olive and brown colorway, which was just completely awesome. Um, and then I've got this one in the, the multi-cam, um, also awesome. Um, but it's Jansport, so it comes in every color in the universe. Let's do what we do on this channel for my Jansport hatchet. And this bag, I love it. So, mwah. let's talk about it. We do a full walkthrough inside and outside the bag. Then we do two things we love, two things eh, not so much, and then an overall recommendation should you buy it. Spoiler alert, yeah, you should buy this if you don't have a beat up old Jansport in your collection. Like what's wrong with you? Get one. All right. So exterior review of this bag, exterior walkthrough. On the handle, we have a about a four inch by six inch pocket here. Um, and this is my kind of go-to throw in pocket. Um, I've got some sweatbands in there. I usually keep honestly my um, AirPods in this pocket. I don't have them in there right now. Just a Sharpie in there right now. Um, and then you have a very useful pocket down here, um, which is kind of a U-shaped opening, very easy to access. I've got a passport holder in there. I've tossed some uh, extra pins in there. Um, it Inside, it has um, almost no lining at all, okay? It's got the repeat of the kind of beaver camo pattern here. And I've got just a multi-tool and... Uh, um, tripod for my phone. Um, there's not a lot to it, but it's a very useful size of pocket and it's very easy to get into. You have a little attachment point for a reflector. You've got an attachment point here. You've got attachment points all the way up and down the side of the bag here to clip things to. Incredibly, incredibly useful. All right, on the side, you have a water bottle holder. It's not mesh. Mesh water bottle holders suck. This is elasticized though. I put in it a battery backup and a cord. Um, you can fit just about any water bottle you want in here and it's got the strap to keep it in place. On the other side, I do have a swell bottle in matching camo, right? Um, but two useful drop pockets, um, whether you're gonna use them for water bottles or not. On the back, you got straps and <laughs> you got a grab handle. Um, you got a couple of attachment points where you tighten your straps. That's it. All right, let's open up the main compartment. All right, when you open up the main compartment, first up, on the actual flap itself, you have a mesh pocket. And this mesh pocket is pretty useful. I've got in there some business cards. I've got in there a stress ball. I've got in there a power brick. Kind of just to show you what will fit. A lot will fit. And it's got a zipper closure. Let's talk about the main compartment here. There's a lot going on. You can see inside. You have a lot of space, but I wanted to show you first. You have a full laptop compartment and a tablet compartment. Both are padded. Pretty nice. They, they're padded on the interior, the back, and the bottom, so it's a suspended padded laptop compartment. 
It's really well done. This is going to be tough to show you, but on the back side here you have one, two, three, four. Yeah, it's really tough to show you. Sorry about that. You've got two compartments here and then two compartments below it. Um, for illustration purposes, I've got a wallet in one. I've got AirPods in one. Really tough to show you that. It's a contrasting color and there's pockets behind here and pockets below and a little uh, D-ring carabiner clip there. I've also got AirPods in there. I've got an umbrella in there. Um, you can bring easily change of clothes. Um, I've tossed shoes in the bottom of this thing. All right, the whole thing weighs nothing. It's incredibly light on your back. Um, it is a, a joy to wear. I forgot to even mention, there's another pocket on the side here of the water bottle pocket um, on one side only. So you've got an extra kind of hidden pocket on the water bottle. So that's the bag. Two things we love about this bag, well, for what you pay for a Jansport hatchet, you get a lot of bag. And because of what you pay for a Jansport hatchet, you can abuse the hell out of it. Um, you, you're not worried about scratches. You're not worried about what this bag is going to look like. If it looks beat up, even more the better. It shows that you're using your bag. Like, that's awesome. Um, what you're getting in terms of storage, one pocket, two pockets, three pockets, four pockets, five pockets, six pockets, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 total compartments of some sort or the other on this bag. We love that. All right. So we love the price point. We love the utility and pockets. Um, that's two things we love about this bag. Two things, not so much. The back. Sweaty, sweat magnet, put a little bit of air grooving on here. Um, it's close to, this bag is so close to perfect. The back kind of sucks. The straps are okay. They're nothing special, kind of sucks. The other thing we don't love about this bag is that it is, and this is the price you pay for something this light, it is floppy as hell. Um, if you don't have something in the bottom, like this bag is just floppy as anything, and if you overload this, which is, to be fair, one of the best pockets, but it's got a sweet pocket on the outside and a great pocket on the inside, so you could end up in a situation where the heaviest part of your bag is this flap. So that's problematic, and I don't know how they solve that, honestly, um, but... I'd call it out that many times how I load this thing out, I'll end up with air plods and clip bars and power bricks and everything in here and clothes in the bottom. And then it's really top heavy. <clears throat> so I'll link where you can get many different colorways of the Jansport hatchet bag um, in the comments. And overall, should you buy this bag? I love this bag. Me and this bag have been through the war. And the, the olive um, and tan one I had before this one, even more so. So I, I've loved these bags for a long time. I've gotten a lot of utility out of them. And if you don't have one in your collection, you won't regret it. So next time we'll talk more. And thanks you guys for coming. Thanks you guys for liking the video. And if you're new here, please subscribe. We do one take bag reviews like this all the time. I hope you enjoyed this one. This one is near and dear to my heart. So. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you soon.